if you look at the railway track you will notice there are different types of railway track joint right now you will see in this footage this is a railway track joint and not only this there are different types of track joints i will show you step by step welcome to let's grow up today in this video i will show you different types of railway track and its components let's see the topic i think everyone has asked this question in their mind why is a gap noticed or deliberately kept between the end of two adjacent rail right so why this gap this is because the temperature variation that is in india and africa or european countries there are different types of temperature throughout the year so during winter and during summer this two temperature and due to that this gap is important as we know the physics of metal where a metal can expand during summer or can contract during its winter season so throughout the year different types of temperature we can notice that's why this gap is very very important in this joint area additionally used this yellow color plate is known as fist plate there is two fist plate the both side of the track and with the help of nut and bolt these are the fitted with the track any railroad car will pass in this joint the load of the car will transmit through this track so here you will see a loco will cross this part right so here the load directly transmit or load absorb by this fist plate and additionally here you will see how this sleepers are arranged between two end portion of the fist plate but friends nowadays we are noticing the tracks are welded because of two key points number one the high speed train and next high cost maintenance with a small distance we will see many many joints are there as we know the joints are used very short distance but nowadays the train speed increasing that's why these joints are welded now so after welding you can see like this this is newly welded track and it is supported with the help of this juggle fist plate these are the juggle fist plate right and the both side of the fist plate you will notice the nuts and bolts right over the time this fist plate will remove from this place but right now it is newly jointed that's why we can see this kind of fist plate now one more question in your mind right so if the track are welded right now then how the track will absorb the heat and cold so that's why now engineers are introducing modern railway switch and expansion joint we know or we will see this kind of joint i can share a footage with you during my traveling so i have noticed this kind of railway track joints and today i am sharing with you the switch expansion joint these are the very modern railway joint and it is used a long distance not short distance a long distance and also it allows the high speed rail so this is not only one type of joints there are various type of switch expansion joint one more joint i can share with you with a simple footage this is an image of switch expansion joint of modern 
so one more question as i working or creating my next topic with animated topic so today's live session is pre cast for you if you watching this session or if you uh, think ki my content is very helpful and there is so so much hard working then you can share your thoughts comments with me in the below right this is the running track and between this two track there is a gap and additionally here used the cast iron chair these are called the cast iron chair and below this is base plate so slippers base plate cast iron chair here you can see the space so during summer season or during temperature variation it get uh, increase it length or can contracts right so that's why this space is very important and the outside you will see this this is the tongue rail here you can see this like tongue that's why this is known as the trunk rail right here you will see the same thing like base plate cast iron chair both side at the middle portion you can see the parallel rail or metal you can uh, metal type strap also you will see or we can notice right so these are the additionally part to hold all these components proper alignment so friend these are the basic key components on the railway track we are notice there are so many things in the railway i will come back step by step if you love my content then you can share your comments so thank you so much i will meet next video till then take care thank you